Good morning. Good morning. It's Thursday morning. Hope you guys are doing well today. Looking like the 2nd of July. Strengthened and empowered we're talking about this morning. Out of Ephesians chapter 3 verse 16 and 17 it says, I pray that out of his glorious riches, the Father, may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. Good to see you guys this morning joining us. Good morning, Lee. Would you pray? Mm -hmm. Thanks. Lord, we just come to you this morning and we just uh, seek your face. We want to know your will for our lives. We want to know your plan for our lives. We want to walk in faith in the things that you call us to do, to surrender, Lord. We seek just your will for our lives. There's so many times, Lord, we make plans or we, we want something to happen, but just build our faith today, Lord, and help us to trust you, to know that you are in control. Empower us with your word today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, strengthened and empowered. Good morning, Aunt Judy. It says, God is transforming you into the image of Christ. He's making you more Christ-like. He's even more committed to the process than you are. And that's okay. All God wants you to do is to keep showing up, to be ready and willing for him to use you in the world. When Christ dwells in you, you are taken out of yourself and beyond your very real limitations. When asked to give of yourself to others, you may think, I don't have enough to give. I don't know what to do, or I'm not qualified for this. That may be true for you, but definitely not for God. All you need to do is just show up and be faithful. And as you follow his lead, you'll be transformed and you'll witness his unstoppable power. He will continue to make you more like Jesus as he expands your impact on your world. Embrace this mystery of Christ in you, and you'll find yourself choosing to love the lost, the hurting, and the forgotten with your words and actions. You'll find yourself being used by God to transform the world around you. God help me to grasp how wide and long and how high and deep is the love of Christ. Verse 18, thank you for empowering me. It's a good word this morning. Mm -hmm. Strengthened and empowered. You know, my wife and I were just talking this morning as we was getting up, getting ready, how that so much of life is just doing that exact thing. You know, just showing up, uh, desiring the Word of God, desiring to be used, desiring to know, desiring to learn desiring to be used to touch people's lives, so much of that is really dependent on us just showing up. And I know that we don't always feel comfortable. We may not feel prepared. I mean, there's a host of things that we might say, I don't feel this or I don't feel that, but we know that feelings lie to us and uh, kind of keep us you know, from doing some of the stuff that God wants us to do because we don't feel a certain way we don't feel like, you know, get up Sunday morning. We don't feel like going to church. We don't feel like doing that. We don't, you know, there's so many things. And uh, we don't know. feel like having a good attitude. <laughs> yeah. My wife is struggling a little bit this morning with some things. And we've been talking about that too. But and I'm not beating her up by any way. You know, it's we, I deal with it at times too. And, and we know, both of us know that, you know what? We both know we just got to press through because there's things that we can't control and we press through and we're here to encourage each other mm -hmm. and that's what i was doing with her this morning just encouraging her because we don't have control the things that's that eats at us sometimes it's just you know you just got to let it go and that's that song let it go let it go <laughs> i can't sing it <laughs> But. And surrender. I mean, surrender yeah. is just a big thing. I uh, just was watching a video the other day uh, of a, a seal that was caught and had all these, this net wrapped around him and he was stuck. He couldn't get out. And these two guys were trying to help. But every time they went to help him, he would go to bite them. 
and it was making it difficult for them to help him just to surrender you know you see lots of videos like that where animals are caught and, and somebody is there to help them but they are fighting back we just can't fight back we have to surrender to god and we have to know and have faith that he is in control in every area e even the plans that we make sometimes we get frustrated when those plans aren't working out yep. But we just have to have faith that, you know, once again, God sees the big picture. Yeah. And we just have to surrender our will to his and trust that he's either going to work it out in a way that we never could have imagined or he's got something better. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, like the animal, not your situation because it's not driven by fear, but the animal's situation is. I mean, they're, they're mm -hmm. afraid. So... Even though there's a hand there trying to help them, mm -hmm. they're afraid. And that's one thing that I see with the, the days that we're living in right now. There are so many that are driven by fear. And fear is never of God. Fear is never of God. Say that. Fear is never of God. Fear is never of God. You know, and when fear is there, we know right away that's not God. It's the enemy. It's, it's the enemy. It's our flesh that's fighting against that because we're afraid of something. And sometimes that is. it's a hard line to call yeah, it because is. there's caution. Yep. Caution isn't a bad thing. Caution is thinking wisely and making good choices. Yeah. So it's a hard line to draw, to, to, to determine, yep. am I being cautious or am I being fearful? And that's when we pray for wisdom mm -hmm. and discernment because when you're caught and not sure then we call out to God and we say, God, you know, I don't, why am I feeling this way? I need your help. I need discernment. I need wisdom because I want to be in the center of your will. I want to walk through this. I want to have your peace. And when we call on those things, the promises that he has given to us, when he says that he wants us to walk with a heart of peace, with a mind of peace, in that spirit of peace, when we call out and ask him for those promises, he's not going to hold back he's going to he's going to move forward he's going to give that to mm -hmm. us and that's why it says even in james you know if you lack wisdom ask for it that's a promise that's there so if we ask god for it he's going to give it and we just have to wait sometime be patient for that to be you know shown to us surrender and, yeah surrendering yeah so but just talking about strengthening empowered you know God does. He strengthens and empowers us. He wants to strengthen and empower us. But the surrender goes with that too. Mm -hmm. Also the showing up and, and being there. Um, and we have to press through. And sometimes we make those choices. We don't feel like it, but we, you know what, whether I feel like it or not, I'm going to do it because I know that, that God's going to help me with this. So seek and find it. If you've lost something in the house, and you want to find it, but you just sit on the couch. You're not going to find it. I've been there. Turn the house apart trying to find something that I misplaced or forgot where it was at or whatever. Some things I never had found. So. Guess we didn't need them. Well, I did because I had to order off the Amazon. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, anyway, we're going to pray and let you guys go. You know, just know that you got to show up, surrender. Trust God. Trust God, because he's going to empower you. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus, thank you for today. Thank you, God, for your word. Thank you that you are there and that you care deeply for our situations. And you want to you wanna be manifested in those things. You want to, I think about what uh, John said. He said, you must become greater, I must become less. You must become greater, I must become less. And... Uh, now I'm doubting whether it was John that said it, but the point is, the phrase is out there. It's true. We must become less, and God must become greater. We must become less, God must become greater, so that we can be empowered, so that we can move forward in God's plan for us, even in this day right now, especially in this day. Today is the day that we have control to say, you know what? This is what I'm going to do with my life. This is what I'm going to do with this situation. And I'm going to be strengthened and empowered by you today, God. So bless your people today as we move forward. 
May we be encouraged. May we be full of peace and full of joy. And may we surrender those things to you that, that just need to be surrendered, Lord. You're in control. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, good to have you guys join with us. Tom, good to see you, brother. Um, hope you're still selling Subarus, brother. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs>